playing storyline as the game insists on us, unfortunately, has several disadvantages. Among other things, it reduces our creativity, as a consequence of which we do not see even interesting possibilities to perform the current task. Another disadvantage that we will deal with in today's episode is the lack of answers to questions that may arise either just after passing a specific mission or only after completing the entire plot. In the GTA series, there are many moments when our opponents can escape, but, moreover, in a large number of cases, the opponents run to a specific place. Where? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. An interesting situation that perfectly fits the theme of the episode takes place in the mission called Running Dog. We try to hunt down a Vagos member, who apparently owes Big Smoke some stuff. When you run after the guy, it turns out that he has a specific escape route prepared. At the beginning, he intends to run behind one of the houses and then jump down to the alley leading to Glen Park. If we don't manage to kill him at this point, a sentinel with a chauffeur will pick him up. The most interesting thing is that it doesn't stop there because Mexican goes to a specific place, namely to his apartment in Las Colinas. The next mission of this type is for Colonel Cortez and it is called Treacherous Swine. The goal of the mission is to take out Gonzalez, who allegedly broke up on someone about a failed transaction at the docks. As players, we move to his apartment, where we want to take him down in the real Scarface style. The man quickly blows away from the building. However, what is most interesting, if we let him run a little longer, it turns out that Gonzalez is running to the Washington Beach police station. Of course, he sees this place as an ideal refuge for himself. A super curiosity we hope you've never heard of before. Another mission we would like to tell you about is called Sayonara Salvatore. During this assignment, we have to murder the Don Leon. Asuka Kaysen tells us that Salvatore Leon will be leaving the Luigi's Club soon. That's when the perfect opportunity to get him would come. Suppose then we wait for Salvatore outside and not attack him. As it turns out, in this case, the man will enter the Mafia Sentinel after a while and will head to his villa. If, on the other hand, we decide to wait for him, for example on the stairs right next to the back door to the club, Salvatore will respawn in front of the main entrance and will want to escape back to the club. Meanwhile, we have a mission ahead of us for the beautiful Catalina, adored by all. This chick can drive crazy not only CJ, but also the player himself, as we find out many times during the plot. The mission for Catalina that interests us is named Local Liquor Store. We are planning to rob the liquor store there, as the title suggests, but unfortunately, a group of rural robbers is at the destination before we are. After the robbery, the bandits get on their quads and go straight to… well, probably most people thought they were going nowhere, but in fact it is completely different. When we are reluctant to kill the robbers, our eyes will see a cutscene in which we will find out that the team had its destination and did not intend to drive aimlessly around rural areas until the end of its days. It's high time to return to Vice City, where one of the missions for Mr. Black also counts among the tasks where our target goes to a specific place. In this mission, we have to shoot a certain guy who, together with his bodyguard, is to pick up an important briefcase from a certain lady. Everything looks cool. We have a guy practically at gunpoint, but the question is, what if we decide to wait? Well, the businessman will slowly make his way to the check-ins and then straight to his plane which will safely take him from Vice City. We are moving on to Liberty City, straight to the mission for Ray Machowski called Plaster Blaster. Looks like Leon McCaffrey somehow survived Claude's attack on Silence the Sneak mission and he'll be transported in an ambulance soon. In most cases, we'll be able to get McCaffrey out of the ambulance easily, but if any of you are curious about where McCaffrey was going to go, it's the Torrington Police Station. 
The missions for the Wong Cars dealership also have one task up their sleeve, which for us personally is a big surprise. We are talking specifically about the mission Puncture Wounds, where we are to take over the stratum of a lady who drives like a complete maniac. And frankly speaking, in our opinion, it was hard to fear that this woman would go to some specific place. And yet, if the player has enough patience, one may witness that the woman, after a long escape, will drive her car into the garage located next to ammunition in Angel Pine. The security thread also provided one task for us, which is related to today's essence. To be precise, this is the Bar Brawl quest. After a Lance's incompetence, we have to go to the bar, which won't pay us protection money. As things get complicated, we have to resolve any ambiguities with DBP security. After killing a few security guards of this company, we suddenly notice that the last two are trying to escape on two PCJ600 motorcycles. Of course, catching them is not very difficult, but when we decide to follow both men, we will see that they are going to a certain location. Their goal is to get around Ocean Beach Lighthouse. If the time runs out, the mission will end with a fail, of course. We can come across another curiosity by re-entering the topic of orders accepted in San Fierro. This time, we're taking a closer look at the mission T-Bone Mendez. In a nutshell, our task is to seize four drug packages and bring them to Jizzy's strip club. The problem, however, is that we have as many as four motorcyclists to catch who are scattered all over the city. It turns out that all four are not randomly driving around the city, but meter by meter are heading to a garage in Ocean Flats. If at least one of the bikers reaches the destination, the mission will fail, as you probably expect. Once again, sunny Vice City, and again an interesting mission from Colonel Cortez, this time called Sir Yes Sir. We believe that a lot of people know about the unusual way of stealing the tank, don't they? We are talking here about the fact that at some point, the escort stops to take a break for fresh donuts. When we allow the military to consume the food calmly and follow this pilgrimage, it will turn out that they are going to a specific location. As a result, they will not wait forever until we graciously decide to take their tank, which, as you can see, is being transported to a garage in the docks. Another example of a mission where we can directly find out where our target is going is the drop in the ocean task for Donald Love. As a reminder, we have to take over six packages, which later turn out to be an ordinary fake. However, the interesting thing for some may be where the dodo plane flies after all the packages have been dropped. Well, after the dodo plane is done, it will go to the Francis International Airport, where it will land and then it will be hidden in the hangar, which we will visit during the Grand Theft Aero mission, by the way. And, since we mentioned this mission, it's worth stopping by for a moment. As you can guess, we have to go to the airport and pick up the real packages. This time, to be sure, straight from the plane. However, it looks like the Colombian cartel arrived earlier and took the packages. Interestingly, we can see the vehicle leaving the scene. What will happen if we decide to follow this truck? Well, the van will go to the lift bridge and at some point it will get completely frozen. Well, we are clearly dealing with a big mistake on the part of the creators here, but at least we can also see that they wanted to show that the truck was headed where it should, that is, to the construction site in Fort Staunton. And we are right at the finish line! If you know of any other mission in GTA Trilogy where our targets are escaping to a specific location, we would be delighted if you could share this with us in a comment. Don't forget to make a judgment about our video in a way of dropping a like up or down, as this helps us improve over time. We'll see you in another episode. Bye!